This is uh, a new theme I'm working on. Um, a lot of CSS edits, including dark mode support and some custom transitions you can see there. But here's, here's an easy CSS thing. A lot of people were asking about how can we turn off those cell borders? Or people were calling them table borders. It's actually the table cells. You can see it's using a color right there, the DDD, just a light gray. We can we can override that. And actually, I'm going to simplify this into one so that there's actually two, two selectors there. We can combo into one just to simplify that. Um, and then border, very simple CSS rule. I didn't say border zero PX, you could do zero transparent. Well, either or, I think you can do either or. I'll just leave it at border zero PX right now. Um, and also if you're, you don't want to disable that highlight that, see that red highlight? So I have a browser add-on that lets me load my custom theme files as I'm building my course, which is cool. So I know exactly what I'm going to get after I uh, recompile everything with my CSS edits. So just doing some debugging here. We want to make sure um, in this case, what if we just want to affect one of the blocks. We can do that by using the block ID as the selector, or as the parent of the selector. So in this case, that block ID is unique to that block. So let's say we only want to affect this one particular block. I'm gonna get that ID, that becomes the parent selector of this rule. And so here what I'm doing, I'm telling it to disregard FR highlighted class. And now let me refresh, clear out those, uh, the CSS from the debugger. Here's my cover page. And where I was actually in the part two, all the way at the bottom, yeah, okay. So using that, selector is a safe way to make sure you're not affecting everything if you don't want that change to be across the board. Always use that block ID. And here's a look at my setup. I would not recommend editing any of the CSS files that Rise puts out. Instead, we're going to make a new folder called Theme. You can see I'm linking to a new folder called Theme. And here are all my files got my main theme file and then I would call these like utilities to turn off the borders and, and do whatever else I want and here's my folder setup I'm adding a new folder called theme try not to modify the stuff that rice gives you obviously we're gonna edit that index file and add those links to the new CSS files 